Hi, how's everybody doing today? This is Rich, and we have a Rich TV Live with a very special guest. It is Dave Waslin, the CEO of Hedge Trade. How are you doing today, Dave? Doing great, Rich. Thanks for having me. Thank you for being here. Now, why don't you tell us a little bit about Hedge Trade first before we talk a little bit more about Bitcoin? Yeah, sure. So, our company, Hedge Trade, has built a platform for trading predictions, and the platform is a, is a tool for experts or, or solid traders to post their trading predictions. And then when they post this prediction, they need to make a stake. So they can stake our hedge token or they can stake Bitcoin. And that shows to the audience that hey, they have skin in the game. Uh, and then when the users on the other side see the prediction, they don't know the exact underlying entry price or exit price of the prediction until they unlock it and they have to pay a fee, they have to pay a portion of the stake to unlock it. And then if the trader is correct, then he receives his stake back and receives the proceeds from all the purchasers that unlocked it. And if he's incorrect, then the trader loses his stake and all the purchasers get their money back. So it's an interesting model because if you're someone that unlocks this prediction, you're only paying for it if the prediction became true. And if the prediction became true, then you can make the same trade as the trader and earn profits and earn money on, on executing the same trade as him by, by copying him. So it's this interesting model that uh, aligns the interests between the traders and the, and the purchasers seeking the information. And um, yeah, it's just a, a different way of sharing trading ideas because there's there's chat groups and there's Twitter and YouTube and all that, but it's, it's easy to delete your tweets or delete a message in a chat group. But uh, on our platform, we post all these predictions on the blockchain and give the traders a track record and performance. And uh, you can check out their their performance history before you unlock one of their predictions. So um, so we're in we're in beta right now, and we're building out a lot of features, but it, it is totally functioning and anyone can sign up right now. Very good. Now, right now, there is a very big catalyst that is going to be happening for Bitcoin. Bitcoin is going to be having. Can you explain a little bit about what that means for you when you hear the term Bitcoin is having? Um, what that means? Because there's a lot of people that don't really understand what Bitcoin having is. Yeah, sure. So Bitcoin having means that the mining rewards are being cut in half. And so then when people understand that, uh, it signals scarcity and it signals the fact that there's a limited, limited supply of Bitcoin. Um, it's, it's predetermined when all these block rewards are going to happen based on all this mining. And so when the mining rewards are shrunk, it illustrates to the market that, oh boy, you know, like it's, it's a scarce resource, it's finite. And in the past, we've seen the, the price increase around this concept. Um, so, you know, some people think it might be, the price might be baked in and it's already worked into the price of Bitcoin. Some people think it's still to come, um, but it definitely creates a lot of uh, stir in the industry and it's a, it's a hot topic for sure. Now, if the miners are only going to receive 50% of the rewards, would it not make sense that the price of Bitcoin would double so that those miners can at least be making what they were making before so that it's not going to be too expensive as far as electricity. And in order for it to be viable for those miners, the price is essentially going to have to double. Is, is there any validity to that thought process? Well, it's, it's not necessarily a if then situation it doesn't it doesn't mean it's going to double by definition but it does mean that the rewards are going to half by definition and so that a lot of miners could be underwater and might not be making money they might not be profitable based on the cost of electricity and the cost of their mining equipment so some miners might have to go offline um, and then the hash rate will increase and so there there are some some interesting supply and demand effects on bitcoin so but yeah, in effect, for any miner to make the same amount of money after the halving, the price has to double in order for them to make the same amount. But it, you know, we'll see if that happens or not. But um, yeah, it's, it's definitely a, a big impact in the industry coming up. 
Now, the cryptocurrency space is a very interesting one because right now there's a coronavirus that is now starting to be talked about all over the world, right? Now, in a world where money, potentially, people are saying, well, what happens if someone has coronavirus and they're passing it through money? Does that make Bitcoin even more interesting now? Because now we can literally send money to people through our phones without actually having to put our hands on money, which could potentially be spreading a virus. You think there's any validity to that? Is that crazy? Um, I don't know. People have been talking it's about it. So. It's, actually not, it's actually not that crazy. Um, you know, I, I live in Singapore. And so I'm, I'm, you know, it's, it's not ground zero of, of the virus, but um, it's, it's we're, we're close to China and Singapore is affected quite a lot here. Uh, there's travel restrictions and there's even temperature checks anytime you enter an office building. Um, so that, so the city's feeling the effects. Um, and, and I heard a funny thing that um, normally when you hear about somebody washing their money, it, you know, it sounds like something criminal or it sounds like they're, you know, trying to do things outside of the government, but it was actually people physically washing their money with, with soap so that you don't, uh, yeah, spread any germs or viruses. Um, so that's, that's, uh, that's kind of funny, but yeah, I mean, it's, it's possible, you know, like, uh, the virus is spread through touch and, 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 and yeah, if there's less handled money and less people, you know, touching each other throughout, you know, with, with these products and, and, uh, objects, then yeah, sure. Maybe that is a good thing for digital currencies because yeah, you can do it electronically through the phones and not have to handle hard money. Now. For anyone that's watching all over the world that's interested in what you're doing, what would you tell them that makes your business a game changer? What separates you from everybody else? Well, we're about educating people and helping them, helping them trade and helping them get into cryptocurrency, helping them become a good trader, helping them learn about tech. Um, and what sets us apart is the fact that we're all about transparency and accountability. So we built our platform so that all these trading predictions are posted on the blockchain. They're transparent. You can see someone's track record and know that it's blockchain verified. And then the accountability is there because they have to stake money on their predictions. They can't just post, you know, some trading idea and not care if it, if it's right or wrong, if it's wrong, they lose their money and they, they put some skin in the game. So, if you want to unlock that prediction, you know that they, they have an incentive to be correct with their prediction. Otherwise they lose money. Um, so we're all about transparency and accountability and just want to help people get educated about trading and, and the crypto space. And for anyone that's watching that wants to get in contact with you or learn more about your platform, how would they do that? Yeah, I would just go to our website, hedgetrade.com and Right on the homepage, it'll show you links about how to sign up for, for the platform. And then we have a, a blog that has hundreds and hundreds of really well-written articles by our internal team that teach people about trading and crypto and, and blockchain. And so those are some really good resources and tools. But uh, yeah, I would just go to our website and start surfing around and, and we're here to help. So even, even reach out to us as a chat box or you can send us an email at info at hedgetrade.com. That's great. Well, you know what? I've already signed up, guys. I'm going to be learning more about this platform as well. Thank you so much for your time today, Dave. I wish you all the best of luck with your new business, Hedge Trade, which looks very, very interesting and appealing. And I'm sure there's going to be a lot of members all over the world that are going to be very interested in it. So let's definitely stay in touch and hopefully we can have you again on the show soon. Thanks, Rich. Yeah, I really appreciate this. And Love to have you on the platform and, and keep in touch. It's going to be fun. Absolutely. Thank you so much. We'll talk to you soon. Thanks.